Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to protect the HT access file. As you may or may not know, the HT access file can be used to secure all kinds of stuff on your website, as well as serving other purposes, but it's a very powerful tool for security. And if you are using it for security, it's a good idea to protect that file itself. So somebody can't go into the file and undo all the security that it does for the rest of your site. So it's a very simple set of Apache commands that we just paste into the HT access file. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First thing you want to do is log into your cPanel of your hosting account. I'm currently in our HostGator account. And you want to scroll down and find the file manager option and then click on it. Open the document root for the website that you want to work in. Find the HT access file. If you don't have an HT access file yet, you can click on the add new file button on the top left and add HT access and click on create new file. It'll just be a blank document and HT access file is just plain text. So it doesn't need to be anything fancy. There should be two S's on the end there. You can also create the file via FTP if you prefer working in FTP. And you also want to make a backup of the HT access file. I've linked to a video below to show you how to create the backup. Because this is our testing site, it's not really that important right now. So I'm just going to show you how to add the code to protect the file. You want to click on the HD access file to select it and then click on the edit button. And if you're running WordPress already, you'll find something like this up at the top. This specific piece of code is for the permalinks in WordPress. And then we just want to paste in the code that you'll actually find below this video as well. So you can just copy and paste it. And what this does is it matches any file that has a dot and then an H and a T and an A at the very beginning, which is of course the HT access file. And it matches whether the H, T and A are uppercase or lowercase, and then the rest of the file name can be anything. But there aren't any other files with .hta at the beginning. And what this is saying is we want to deny from all, which means that nobody can access that file unless we go in through the cPanel and through your hosting account. So we click on save changes in the top right. You're not going to see an effect because you don't actually try to access the HT access file from externally anyway, but a hacker who tries to access it will get an error and they won't be able to see the file, which is what you want. So in this video, we learned how to protect the file that protects the rest of your site, and that's the HT access file. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Alpass from the WP Learning Lab. If this video did help, make sure to like it, share it, check out our social media feeds, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. I'll talk to you soon.